Hello and welcome to the next part of Magical Death Pair. Last time, well, things became even worse as Vastin then got voted out as the challenger and Classical thought, I am the only one who can murder you and, well, killed her. And then suddenly everything we've, we've experienced turned out to be foresight that uh, Vastine was experiencing thanks to classical skill. So now we are doing everything again. This time hope hopefully with less murder. <laughs> Let's head to the northern hallway now. Yep. Die. Hmm. What was that? Oh, she's already there. <clears throat> Fine, I'll fight for you. <laughs> no questions asked, huh? I would appreciate that. Sorry for interrupting your fight with Classical, but I'm standing in for him today. Get in the way and I'll kill you too. I like to see you try, I'm stronger than I look. Wait, what? I thought you were stronger than this. Uh, sorry. Well, I guess I can just abandon you here. I'll go get Perth from the, from the cafe. <coughs> Good idea. Azu, what happened? She, act she attacked Glassical. When I tried to fight back, I came on too strong. Uh, did she bother you? I'm sorry. I noticed her first for battle, but I didn't think she would get this violence so suddenly. I'll tell her not to fight you anymore. Okay, thanks. Oh, I'll just leave her here on the couch. Uh, sorry about that, I'll tell Azu to play nice. If she'll listen to you, we didn't really get much from her in the last loop, so to say. It's unconscious, of course. And everyone is gathered here now, hmm. Ah, looks like we're all around the same age. I'm just glad I don't have to deal with any whiny brats or patronizing adults. You, you all Everyone here needs an adult. Uh, you and your buddy really get along. Have you met before? We really seem that close. Well, I would say Glassical and Azumano kept the most distance from the others. But Glassical is different with you. You have a point with him being distant. I know exactly why. What went down with Azumano? She confronted us and I fought her. I just gave her a little kick, but I might have strung too hard. <laughs> you never change. Howdy there, Miss Vass. Have you read the documents from Monipi? Uh, not really. Uh, have a look then. Oh. November 27th, 3 p.m. A powerful monster barrier appeared near Station 48 in Tokyo. The three witches in charge of the area were immediately dispatched to destroy it. Same day, 10 p.m. <clears throat> Support was called in and six witches were dispatched into the barrier. By this time, there are reports that several people have entered the barrier without a dispatch notice. By 6 a.m. the barrier is still in place and no one who has gone in has returned. Hmm. On the next day, 12 Tokyo witches are dispatched into the barrier, none return. Another 12 witches are dispatched into the barrier, none return. 
And then, I guess today, a group of elite class which is from Tokyo are gathered together. They are assigned buddies and begin the game at 5pm. Well, oh, things got crazy a few days ago, huh? I had no idea. No, things got crazy more than a few days ago. Owen just got a notice about it re recently. Really? I guess I didn't read it. Can I help you? Is that way of speaking of yours natural? I speak this way as, a, as the witch says in Luca. It is important to draw a, li a line between personas. I see. The same goes for my attire. One's physical abilities increase as soon as one transforms into a witch. Therefore, clothes should have no meaning other than to ease movement. Even so, wearing a costume like you, costume you like, can be said to help create your ideal fighting persona. Since the beginning of time, many cultures have encouraged people to wear bizarre costumes on the battlefield. Hmm. I'm always the same whether transformed or not. I have no idea people some people are different before and after transforming. Many people pretend to be someone else on social media. The same could be said for witches. Hmm. There are too many scary people here. You should watch your back. Who knows who's the enemy? You're not helping. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Is everything okay with Glassico? Does he scare you at all? Uh, not really, but I can't let my guard down around him. Doesn't, doesn't he give off serious bad guy vibes? Are you sure he's a monster? If Glassico was the game's host, it would have been, it would have, it would be a lot more thought out. He's definitely a medic, mytho, methodical. Methodical guy. I don't know how to pronounce this word. So, what's up? <laughs> Thank you for your help, Les. I told you I can hold my own. I need my buddy to be able to hold his own too, or I'll start hating him. All I have to do is show how strong I am. Yeah, that works. I like strong guys. Then, I would like to show you what I'm capable of soon. So we really have no memory of Azumano and, uh, and her sister. If I had met someone so impulsive in the past, I'm sure it would have left an impression. But I don't remember them at all. Hmm. Well, let's put this issue on hold. What happens next? If you know, I wish you would tell me. Next is... Hold on, where's Lily? She isn't around here. The escalator hall, hurry! Alright, let's take a look. Uh, Reverie, why are you covered in blood? Oh, Lily. Why do you look so delicious? Stay away! What happened to those girls? I killed them. I'm sorry. It's happening again. A vision popped into my head out of the blue. What is this? The shutters are closed. We can't get in. Then let's break them down. We're in a monster barrier. Walls and doors are not as they appear. We can either open them in a certain way or use unlocking or breaking skills. Or break them with a powerful enough force to break the barrier itself. But Vaz did so before. Okay, stand back. That should do it. Impressive. Ah, uh, so I see the girls could- we can't save the girls, I see. Why are you r running away from me, Lily? Why do you fear me so? 
I promise you there's nothing to fear. I will protect you from all the enemies. You are the enemy. I just want to be friends. Then why did you kill all those people? When I'm around you, I have a strong urge to cut open and taste your insides. But I controlled myself. And cut the these people open instead. I can't be friends with someone like that. Please, do not fear me. I promise not to cut you open. Th then put away your weapon. I cannot speak to you if you keep running away from me. The truth is simply looking at you makes me happy. I am in love with you, Lily. Yeah. Why? Does love need a reason? Does love need a specific amount of time? Is time the only thing that makes the heart go grow fonder? I do not believe so. If so if something looks delicious, I know at first sight. Scary things are scary, hateful things are hateful. Beautiful things are beautiful, precious precious things are precious. Are you okay, Lily? Thank you so much, Vaz. I couldn't have survived that without you. But how did you know I was here? Well, the shadow was closed, so I thought something was up. That was a close one. I'm glad your head is intact. But my head? Anyway, I can kill anyone if I want to stay alive. So I just hit him with the back of my, my sword. Your ex? But you're the victim here. Do you want to kill him or punch him? Be my guest. No thanks, I... Ooh, what intonation? Uh, what happened here? Uh, do you mind explaining? Harry killed us three regular humans, then he attacked Lily, so I whacked him on the head. Uh, there isn't any way to restrain him, so how about isolating him in the western hallway with a guard? Uh, I've calmed down a bit now, I consent to isolation. Great, I'll leave the rest to you, Neville. Uh, um, alright. Huh? This is right up Mitsukumo and Perth's LA, but they're nowhere in sight. Uh, you're right. Mitsukumo has got a close combat and Perth has lightning magic. To bit neither of them around. You're more clever than I gave you credit for. Are you surprised? Yes, I thought you would be just a musclehead. Huh. Well, she's right. You are a musclehead. Awesome work, Miss Mess. Even Miss Neville was singing your praises. That's right, praise me all you want. You're the best, Miss Wells. Miss Wells. I know. But you are consistent, I see. Once voting time comes close, it comes along, someone has to be chosen. Since we don't know who the monster is, we need someone to become a sacrifice. I just hope no one pulls any funny stuff until then. Hey, how did you open the shutters at the top of the escalators? There was a key near the escalators, so I picked it up. It was a very small key, but I'm good at noticing small details. Britton said he would close the shutters, so I gave him the key. I see. I'm darn impressed. But I guess I can't ask him for the key. I see, I see. <clears throat> Question. Why did you put Neville in charge? 
Uh, well, she's smart. And because I saw her in charge in the future. Huh. She seems upset, but why? Nope, can't figure it out. She probably wants to be in charge or something. Tell me what you think of me. <laughs> That's an odd question. I think of her as, an ang as the angry one of the group. I can't really say. And I saw her die pretty early on in the future. <sighs> That's enough. Huh? What's up with her? And she dislikes you again. I heard the wet corpse is in the escalator hall. A river is a corporal, right? But that's terrifying. Words on the street that you were doing interesting things. Wish I could have been there. Word has it you saved Lily. Caring for others and initiative are good traits to have. Huh. I heard you beat up that hooded guy. Is that true? Yeah, he was just weak. I'm amazed he's even a witch. Have you seen his skill? No, but I bet it's not a big deal. Sure. Man, you're so dependable and cool. Yeah, I know. It helps to be strong. It was hard to hear about Reverie killing those girls and attacking Lily. At least Lily's life was spared. Thanks to you. Anyway, I feel better making those guys watch over Reverie this whole time and want to take over. My weapon is a bow, so I'm practically useless in an indoor space like this. But I'm reasonably strong in long-range combat outdoors with good visibility. Are you sure you want to tell me your weapon's weakness? Lily can't find here very well either. I want to tell you so you'll protect me in the case anything should happen. But what if I'm your enemy? Not that I'm a monster or anything. I never thought you were a monster. Thanks. You are moving... Where I am, huh? So where's Lily? Ah, she's here. At least Sasa Luca is also here, so she's not alone. Uh, thank you for saving me. I don't stand a chance against Reverie. I wish I could communicate better. You're not mad at him. Most people would say he deserves the death penalty for committing murder. But he's in love with me. You can do better. You can do better. Yeah, it's twist a twisted sort of love. And that makes you happy. No matter how good looking or kind someone is, I can't love them unless they love me back. Reverie loves me even though I, can I don't love him back. I can't understand that. I can only like people who like me. Huh. He's the complete opposite of classical. But I'm still angry at him for what he did. I don't know if angry is the right word for this. I wouldn't be angry. I would have just killed him. Oh boy. It seems Reverie made a mess. He sure did. By the way, where's Azumaru? She wasn't in the cafe anymore. Maybe where... Perth? They were missing, weren't they? The first time around also. But I see, that's the reason why... Why in the recording Reverie went back, because... Do close the shutters, I see, I see. But yeah, where the hell are Perth and Azumaru? It's locked again.
Yeah, it has to be those two. Those two have to be the ones that lock themselves in there. Hey, Vesicle. Do you ever hear other people's voices zipping around in your brain? I don't follow. I've been hearing Azumanos and Lily's voices in my mind for a while now. Perhaps it's some kind of skill. It could be your own or someone else's skill interfering like radio waves. A skill, huh? If only I knew someone who knew a lot of sk about skills. Wait, I do. Sazaluka. I wasn't aware of that. Perhaps you should speak to him now. Alrighty then. Hey, Sazaluka, I wanted to ask you. Wait, I only learned about Sazaluka's interest in skills in the future. Yeah, you kind of have to um, be a bit smarter about this. I think it would be better to be like... To just do this general, hey, what's your skill? And if whether he answers or not, then be like, I wonder what, what kind of skills are out there since I don't know my own or something. Did you have a question? Uh, I was looking for an expert in skills. Classical couldn't tell me much about them. Since you're older than the rest of us, I thought you might have some wisdom to share. I'm not that old. I just meant you're mature. Well, you are. Luck, I'm well versed in skills. Ask me anything. Is there a skill that lets you know what others are thinking or seeing? That would be the skill of mind reading. Cool, what does it do? It allows you to temporarily see the vision, thoughts or memories of an emotionally agitated person. Interesting, I thought you were a brainless fool, but is this the skill you have? I'm not sure. Monifi picked the skill for me and said it would be useful. But I've been so focused on physical combat, I never thought to use my skill. Oh, that makes sense. I figured you were a single-minded person from the way you fought on the train. How interesting that Monipi chose that skill for you. I don't appreciate all the insults. In order to use that skill, all one needs is a strong desire to know the thoughts of others. The target's emotions must also be agitated in some way in order to, for the skill to work. But your case is slightly different. You must also be aware of your surroundings and others. For instance, you should care that your ex graced my clothes on a train. Sorry about that. It is alright, truly. I think he's holding a grudge. Thank you for your thank you for all your kind help. You're so smart. So you have finally noticed. You should be grateful I was here. You're also good at buttering other people up, eh? Oh, waiting for me, I see. I see, so you have a mind reading skill. That is certainly a useful skill for someone who finds it hard to empathize. Why does everyone think that? Not that I don't agree. What? No, I know what my skill is, and I saved Lily from dying. No, all there's left is... oh. Is something wrong? If I go to the platform right now, I know Izala is going to pick a fight with me. I kind of want to avoid him if I can. Then again, I'm dying to know what he's thinking. I'm pretty good at using violence to get my way, but negotiating is my strongest point. I could help you. Oh yeah, Classical seems like a good negotiator. He could talk to Izala for me. Okay, you'll be my plan B. Let's not go together. I don't want him to be on edge. I'll call when I need you. Alright. Everything still seems to be the same, eh? Because, alright then, then I don't need to talk to them. 
But it is still locked. Can you two guys finally get out? Just pretend I'm not here. Were you here before? I think I would have noticed. Let's see, anything fun happened yet? Don't mind me. Why did you become a witch? Where did that come? <clears throat> ah, wrong text box. Where did that come from? Truth be told, I was just bored. Unable to do anything. I was overwhelmed with the jossy. I needed to fill that empty feeling with something. That's why I fell in love with stories of good and evil, where love and justice prevail. You seem like a good candidate for justice. What do you think? If you ask me, you're the evil one. Huh, you start right. Lustine, are you a monster? I'm only your enemy if you're mine. I can't take my anger out of him. I need classical here as ASAP. How dare you, Lair? <clears throat> How dare you, Lair? I hand on my precious verse. He didn't even touch me. Oh, my mistake. But he certainly was planning on it, so I am here to make him regret his future actions. I came to your rescue as promised, Bess. I'm not a damsel in distress. I just asked you to come because I thought you could talk some sense into this guy. But whatever. Matsukuma. You rang? I told you to make sure no one came. Oh, yeah, I am obviously doing that. You never said I had to stop them. <sighs> I'm just an unpopular man with no friends. What? Sorry, my friend here is a little bipolar. Is he though, or is that a casual... way of being an asshole. <laughs> uh, I never know. Never know if he's actually bipolar or if they are just saying it, misusing the term. He goes from excited to, dis to depressed and then blink in an eye. And it looks like he's in depressed mode right now. Just ignore him. Well, not a lot of negotiating took place here, eh? Are you alright? I thought you were more of a logical person, but it turned out you act on your emotions just like me. In this instant, yes. I couldn't stand the thought of someone hurting you. Besides... It is safe to say Izala isn't my favorite person. Even you have favorites. Certainly. So, what is supposed to happen next? Nothing big should happen for a while, but Darren, Melafina, and Azumano are killed in the fifth tower. Then we'll make sure none of the others are doing any scheming. scheming. Isama might be might get up to something too if he goes unwatched. I'll go talk to him. Is it whoever's in the room? Hey, 
Yasuo no infighting got it. I can do what I want. You're not listening to me. Violence is a big no-no. It's important to use your words. I want you to be good. Things like fighting without a reason and hurting people are bad. And you learned that in school. No. Oh, okay, then I'll teach you. First, listen closely, okay? You shouldn't be so confrontational. Instead of treating everyone as enemies, try to get along. Let's practice. I like you, Azu. Can we be friends? Good lord! This is creepy as hell. What do you say? I told you already, you can't act like that. We'll be here all night if we have to. But it's true that I like you. Are there no decent guys in this place? <laughs> Are there no decent guys in this place? Uh, well... At this rate I'm gonna assume that Gretchen is also shady as hell. He's probably the bad guy or something. Well, things happened. I found out things I never wanted to. It's harder to find the monsters when nothing happens. But we also don't want incidents happening left and right. So, incidents are good and bad at the same time. This is as complicated as a heart in love. Oh, I guess Darum is also decent. And... Hmm, I don't know Gigi so well enough, but he seems reasonable. Man, things got good while I wasn't looking. Huh? Where's Izala? Beats me, I'm not his guardian. I thought you two got along. Are you kidding? No way, I don't trust that guy at all. He definitely doesn't like to stay in one place, we agree on that at least. But I don't make friends just for the benefits, that's where we don't see eye to eye. I'm the type of guy who hangs out with people who are like me or entertaining. That's all. Hey, you got something new to say? Do you like cats first? I don't particularly like any animals. That's too bad. No, I'm sad. Meow. And he's weird, but I guess he isn't... He literally isn't doing anything bad. <laughs> I wonder how Lily is doing. Are you trying to kill Lily? I just want to be friends. So I promised to practice self-control, but my emotions got the best of me. Do you know how Lily and I can be friends? For starters, you could stop hurting people. Actually, that's an order, not a suggestion. Save that for when you or Lily are attacked. All right, I will be careful. Uh, oh boy. There you are. Hey, Isa, why do you hate me so much? I never said I hated you. Why else would you keep trying to set me up? I don't hate you at all. I actually quite like you. Excuse me. The unwavering strength of yours is the epitome of justice. I love strong and unwavering people. I started hating you a few seconds ago, though. I have no idea what you are talking about. I thought you would immediately fight back against me, but then your buddy comes along to the rescue. 
I actually did fight back in a possible future. Wait, you actually wanted me to fight back? I love the kind of hero who can overcome any hurdle. You could say, I just want to be popular. I don't want you to like me. I mean, if you like me, why are you picking a fight? I'm not picking a fight, I just wanted to, to know why you hated me. I just had a feeling you might become my enemy in the future. Do you have the skill of mind reading? No, but you're pretty predictable. Actually, you do. So, it's a kind of behavior predicting or foresight skill. Say, I'm trying to set you up. What would you do? I'll probably beat you up until you can't move, but that's the most I can do, right? <laughs> that's rich. That's exactly what you should do. This guy is a complete masochist. Anyway, aren't you planning on killing Melefina, Darum, and Azumano? Why would I want to do that? I like Darum and Melefina. If you say so. Izama uses a gun, so I guess he's not involved in the murders. If your skill allows you to predict their deaths, I suggest you make sure they don't w they don't wander off alone. A warning would work best, but it would involve divulging your skill. Oh, he thinks I'm the one with the skill of foresight. This girl doesn't want anyone to know about the skill, so I'll just go with the flow. Thanks for the advice. Can you promise you won't hurt me anymore? Hmm, I don't know. Will you be my friend? Uh, uh, you can't give me these kinds of choices out of nowhere. Sure, whatever. Sure, whatever. We can be friends. Excellent. Don't be a fu- uh, don't- uh. We are friends now. Yeah, sure. Whoa, hey, there's some- hmm? I think I just bumped into something. You did? Interesting. What was it? Huh? Well, I'm guessing we've re broke out. Yeah, so you don't have a comment. There you are, Wes. What? Why is everyone so tense all of a sudden? It seems Reverie has the skill of camouflage. He disappeared and went away. Wait. So she ran against him. It's impossible to predict where we'll strike next. Talk about dangerous. Indeed. Barukuro and Mitsukumo are, let us all know. Now everyone who was in a plaza has taken refuge in the cafe. If we're simply dealing with some kind of hidden hiding skill, the reverie shouldn't be able to go through walls. A locked room with a door should be safe for now. Great, so there's a dangerous invisible guy wandering around. What should we do? Actually, I thought you may be able to see him with your skill. Oh, that's right. But I haven't mastered it yet. I guess I just have to really want to see him, or not. If only it were that easy. Wait, I did it! Reverie's in the escalator hall with Lily. Let's go. Why would we go there? Huh? There's no need to go somewhere dangerous. We are only helping others to keep you alive anyway. If the, dan if the per person we are up against is a dangerous girl, we could put you in danger. We should head to the cafe while he is out, out in the way. Do you think I'm weaker than him? You want me to run away? Are you saying I can't beat him? <sighs> I should have known you would be like this. Alright, I understand. There's no, try no point in trying to keep you from danger. Your competitive streak is a part of what I part of why I like you. Let's tell him. Don't. 
Don't make a peek. Not that anything is around here. You could have told him, he probably would have been a great asset. Oh, uh, tell Gigi Nosa. I think Reverie killed that girl with the bangs out of love. He probably won't target the rest of us. Let's hope. He's right over there. Don't tell me you. Uh, she's still alive, I see. Lily, I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Do you really think I'll forgive you that easily? I just want to be friends. That's not what your actions tell me. So we cannot be friends. I bet no one else would accept you. What do you mean? Logically speaking, I need to have a buddy. My weapon doesn't work well in small indoor spaces, and it would help to have someone who's good at close combat. That said, it doesn't help if my buddy is dangerous. I don't hate you, you know. Your behavior creeps me out, and I think you're a scumbag, but... Your feelings make me happy. God, girl. You can do so much better. I'm actually okay with the fact that you like me. So, um, as long as you can promise me you won't do anything else that's rash or dangerous. And if you listen to what I say, I will be your friend. Alright, I'll do anything you say. Okay, I guess we can be friends. What are you doing? A handshake. I don't like other people to touch me, but fine. What's going on? Good question. But I guess it's... It's a trope. People do like this sort of stuff. I... Sometimes also like dangerous people, but he's a bit too out there for me. <laughs> uh, Reverie promised not to do anything else without my permission. Uh, please forgive my behavior. I'm glad everyone's getting along. Where did you leave Azumano? Well, friends here. <laughs> Aren't you too happy now? And Daryl was just like, uh. <laughs> what a drag. Is it. Well, as long as we're both happy. It's impossible to predict Reverie's movements. I think it's best if we keep an eye on him. His emotions change easily and quickly. My skill will tell me when he's about to do something rash. By the way, did Reverie and Lily ever die in the possible futures you have seen? Lily almost always dies, but with Reverie it's about 50-50. The time he, he does die, the culprit remains a mystery. But there's a high ch chance it's Barukudo. This is the first time I've seen a skill. Hmm, well, it looks like we just have to take care of Azumano, Darum, and Melafina now. Hmm. The enemy makes a move in the next period. Then you should warn them soon. Hmm. Oof. Well, I guess the reverie stuff is. was. Technically, rather easy since he's not exactly a well calculated individual. But. Phew, the next part is probably going to be a bit uh, more unpredictable in terms of what is actually happening. Though it was 
hinted at that maybe something Malefina does may have caused the explosion, but who knows. And God knows what happened with Azumano. That's still the issue with Perth too, like... <laughs> Alrighty then. This is where we'll end the part. We'll see how we can avoid the deaths of like Dara, Malefina and Azumano next time. Until then, goodbye!